What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Rome Remastered Total War campaign as the Brutii. To remind you where we left off last time, I lost against this mighty horde of armoured hoplites. Turns out I've not got the skills or the capability or the uh, qualitative advantage to win on the field against said hoplites. I need those damn reforms. So let's check my building browser. Everything seems okay. I've got Sardis attempting to churn out some more troops. Same with Harlequinassus. Um, can I actually... No, I can't retrain them here. But I think that's everything done. We're slowly annoying the Thracians. So we're going to slowly push um, east when the time comes. But for now, I would like to uh, break the back of the Greeks. But let's hit end turn. So vital lesson learned. Uh, armoured hoplites are really good. I'm not super good at fighting on the field. Oh, don't you do it, Julii. I mean, they're going to. They <gasps> no, they failed. So that's the first time. Oh, no, the SPQR are going to get it, though, aren't they? Of course. I'm going to I'm going to assassinate them so many times. God, I can't wait to destroy the SPQR. Can't wait. Cannot wait, but I do need those reforms. I need to get those top quality troops. Hello, what's all that? Candidate for adoption. Vibius Brutus is adopting Kai Caius Macro. Yes. Where is he? Where is he? Tarentum. Okay, he might stay there because the governor's about to die. Death stalks the land. In Larissa. Oh, no. Oh no, wait, that's Tarentum, fortunately. Phew. Oh good, it's just... Just regular troops. So my Lovavum merchant has been bought out. So let's try and... Recruit another, and let's also just put a bunch of assassins and clear out all these merchants stealing all my stuff. Take settlement, Tarsus. No, I'm not going to sail an army around to go take that. Well, actually, I would like move the garrison out. Get these men retrained. I do see that Greek assassin there. Just get these guys retrained. You men lay siege to the city of Nicomedia. Oh no, I can just assault it. But again, there's no one here. I mean, I'm just going to auto resolve that because there's no one there. I'm going to enslave the population. Retrain a load of my troops and let's also knock down their temple. Good. Let's repair the walls. And let's not build anything yet. And it looks like I also need to... I don't know. Probably okay to leave it for there, actually. Uh, let's go clear out this Greek fleet. There we go. Let's retrain our ships. Oh, so they are forming up a new army there, which we need to be careful of. Triarii at Pergamum. Let's get some of those. Let's check our building. Building log. Apollonia. Let's build a new temple. Thermon. Let's build a new temple. Athens. Let's build a new barracks. Larissa, which is plague-ridden. Let's get sewers. It's a bit late. Let's get sewers for a large city. and am the plague, but never mind. Sir. Apart from that, though, I think that's pretty much everything. Obviously, Thessalonica, you can start to work up a unit of consignment of town watch, but we now also have flat incendiary pigs to fight elephants. But we haven't got to worry about elephants for a while. It's probably also worth trying to recruit our own assassins to kill 
may knock out their assassins, but also try and knock out some of their generals. Is my phone going off? Um, but I think that's the, the that's a good plan overall as well. To try and take out some of their important characters. Um, but for now, new merchant acquired. This guy. Let's bring you back here to secure a olive oil resource. Ignore all of those units that are stationary. See if the Julia have the capability to push out into barbarian lands. It appears they do not. Carthaginian diplomat. Lots of German armies there. Lots of Greek armies. They're doing a successful job at pushing east, which I quite like because I am coming from the west. Thrace is about to try and get rid of another one of my merchants. And they failed. Good. I need my own network of assassins to kill merchants that come into my territory because I can't trust them. My faction leader has died. So I'm pretty sure he was in Bilazora, but I, th I thought they'd be more upset than that. Why aren't you more upset? Don't worry about the town watch. Get and Can you not recruit Assassino? But I'm, oh, that's a merchant down here in Sparta. Hmm. Gold. More gold. Go back up here to the gold. Could go after the Scipio faction there, but there's no point. Zippides of Byzantium. Is that this guy? Oh, that's that guy. Get him. Good. Then march up here, ready to go clear out this guy. We will not suffer merchants gladly. Okay, so, our, sa our, fi our faction leader has died. It's replaced by Titus Brutus. But his son Tertius is not of age to be made an heir. So the natural heir is Oppius. Oppius is the natural heir. He's really bad at lots of things. But he is the natural heir. He, that is, that is his role in the family. Until he gets passed over <laughs> for Tertius, but then he'll be even worse. Lots of good stuff, no doubt. Take Tarsus, yeah, not going to happen. Can I be of Keep my merchant on the way. Textiles. Olive oil, looks like it's the better resource of the two. Lots of textiles. Marble would be pretty interesting. Silver. Silver. Croton, you can build. Build a large temple to Juno. Sparta, you can build. Highways. Love Avon, build roads. Or build. Paved roads, Sardis, build, oh, do you build sewers? Yeah, you may as well. Nicomedia to the north, build walls because they're likely going to come after you. And build sewers and actually build the temple first. Keep the retraining going on all fronts. Stop recruiting. New men. Okay, let's hit and turn. Lots of good inactive stuff, just but I have no real use for most of them. Okay, we've sailed the med and I feel pretty safe. So let's go and send some of my ships to go and interfere with 
these Greek ports. Just put them under constant blockade. Hello? Yeah, it looks like the Greeks do own most of the modern-day Turkish mainland. Spain is landing on Palma in force. They're going to try and buy us out again. Successfully. My assassin. Yeah, go get him. That's what you get. It's whack-a-mole, but with merchants. So he can s head up in this direction. Thermon, you have another agent who's going to go start clearing out some of these Roman agents. Yeah, Larissa's the plague is doing the plague is manifesting itself quite strongly in Larissa. Yeah, they bought out my merchant. Which one was it again? By Lazora. Not interested in Tarsus. Don't need most of this. My assassin's getting better. Too bad we can't replenish archers. Put them next on the queue. Over here, Nicomedia, they're all at full strength. So let's maybe start to recruit a town watch garrison before pushing them on to Ankara. To be honest, this Sardis force. Probably take well, well. Let's take another cavalry unit. Leave Sardis. Put these men in. Good. That's made them chill out a bit more. March towards Tarsus. Yes, hey, Assassino. Could get a diplomat. There's no real point of that. Sabotage Temple of Ife Aphrodite. Yeah, just move them up, ready to start. Killing peeps. Ah, oh, that's the diplomat I could have killed. Let's hit end turn, get rid of all that. Good. Ships are on the move. As are all my characters. Yeah, big old concentration of troops up there in Trier. Trier, Trier. They are not going to be happy. Okay, let's... Put both their ports under siege. I mean, that's an Egyptian port, so we're not so bothered. Bet you guys can't leave. Nope. So Tarentum back at home base. Not too far off of expanding. God damn, I haven't upgraded your temple till now. Jesus. So Jessica, oh good. Uh walls because you're going to become a frontier town when you when we end up fighting the julia apollonia you're not you're a bit out of the way so let's build some economy stuff salon let's build a port thermon ports corinth port Kydonia. forum thessalonica let's get a mines roads let's get a public bar actually no your pop growth is fine Let's get a archery range. Aquinsum to the north. Let's get stables. Actually, let's get communal farming and sewers to get the pop growth firing on all cylinders. 
Pergamum, which is a huge city. Could get an urban barracks, but it doesn't provide us any actual advantage in terms of units. So, awesome Temple of Juno. Let's get sewers. Because you've, you're you a huge city. Granted, you've only got 10,000 people, but you don't even have sewers. So let's get some sewers for you. Recruiting Triarii. You can stay in there for now. I mean, we might be on to Tarsus in ten in five turns. Depends if we're ambushed. Attack! Notionally, two t we'll attack it in two turns. Let's try and march these guys up to Nicomedia to help form a garrison. I can ask us to spend another turn recruiting a port. Two of the best units I can recruit. Is that going to be two Triarii? Titus is now the Praetor. But we lost him. Lost the previous office because he moved. Luvavon, you've actually grown. Okay, get ready. Oh, I, I, didn't, I don't know what worthy life ended. Let's hit in turn. Get rid of all that. Ah, my assassino. I didn't use my assassin. Damn. Next turn. Next turn I'll get him. Spain is still pushing Parma, but they haven't taken it. Hmm. Giulio attacking someone. I heard it. I heard the little mod you go. The Greeks are attacking someone, I heard the little choom noise. Family tragedy. Hostia, one of our wives has died. War declared with Numidian Egypt. New member, Placus Brutus, good. Decius the Mad, aged retainer. What does an aged retainer do? Plus one management, plus one to personal security. Okay, too bad he's Decius the Mad though. And his traits make him negative for management. He's just rubbish. Dangerously mad. <laughs> Disturbing tendency to bite people at inopportune moments. Unlucky leader. He understands tactics, but he's flaccid. Flaccid and greedy. Dubious, financially regular, useless assessor. That's my faction air you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know where that Assassin army's will. gone. On my way. Not that I'm overly concerned, because I can probably eke out a bit of goodwill, maybe. I mean, no, they really, they're really not happy, but... They probably will be soon, so we're probably going to be okay. Yeah, still four turns away from taking Tarsus. Don't be ambushed. Next turn we're going to be on it. There's the faction heir, who was a previously accompanied with a bunch of previously accompanied with a bunch of armed um, armored hoplites. Kill faction heir. Ten percent. Let's have a go. Ah, oh. dang it! Let's run to town watch up from Pergamum as well. Let's replenish them with one. Yes, my assassin was slain by bodyguards. I know. Croton, build a forum. Everyone's upgrading, probably because the territories are now getting so f physically big. And the building's so expensive that they take a significant amount of turns to actually produce. Again, I forgot my assassin. God, I'm so dumb. Skippy are going to buy him out, aren't they? Not today, but the Carthaginians are pushing up. And they're fortifying Parma. Right under the Spanish noses. Come on, Greeks, what do you offer? 
Ceasefire. I'm going to click on Decline. I at least want to take Ankara and Tarsus. Because Tarsus is quite a commanding position right here. Take Ankara and Tarsus and then I can start my war against the Thracians. Oh, okay. You can media settle down. These men move on Ankara. Oh, I can just attack it. Sweet. I mean, I'm actually going to fight this because I haven't fought a battle for a while. It's... Yeah. I was looking at my composition and I've got onagers and archers and they're going, is that what I need? And it will be... It will likely be fine because the composition of the army I'm fighting is A. Small and B. Squidgy. And so it begins. Night battle. We Romans never seek war, but having come to battle, we will not leave until it is over. Do not fear these over nice Greeks. They have come to fight, it is true. But they will only stay to die. And draw strength from this fact. The enemy are so low that no ally can be found to support them. They have been lulled into a false sense of security by a few feet of defense of war. As if that will protect them. We outnumber them by a large margin. But this may drive them to foolhardy defiance. Be careful. Many times I have faced these people, and still they are too stupid to learn their lesson. Today, men will die to teach them afresh that they should simply run away. Now then, look to your <laughs> front. Mark your target when it comes! Let's get him. Deploy my onages up. Use flaming ammo just because it'll be interesting. My archers can deploy. They deploy here and they're also going to use flaming ammo because it'll look cinematic as hell. Got my principes, got my triarii, got my cavalry. Crank him back. We're very close, I do admit. I forget the mechanics of this. Okay, good. I do remember flaming ammo is significantly less accurate. So what will we set fire to? Just generic building. See if these guys got a hit. Like that might be. I overshot. But the flaming arrows from the Greeks are in. From the archers, sorry. I know it's not the best armor to use, best ammo to use against um, armored targets, but I just think it looks neat. And it is killing them, still. Especially when they walk away from us. That was a big miss. Governor's Palace. I mean, I know it's probably pointless to get set these guys onto flaming shot if I've got them to do a, to hit a specific target. Shoot. 
Show no there we mercy. go. The enemy walls are down. Make sure their soldiers are buried beneath the ruins. Don't push up too far with my archers. Chiefly because I know that they. There is a tower right here. Ooh! That's a good hit. Flame effects going on. There goes that building. Because this archer onager with non flaming ammo will aim at this unit at point blank range. Uh. <laughs> as long as it's not a specific. Well, that's a miss that might get some good hits over there. Oh, that miss might. As we pile on this poor unit of <laughs> hot plates. They get no quarter from us. Oh, and the poor tree. The tree with a cart and some boxes of stuff. Okay, let's get some of our units to start securing. Oh, aim at those hoplites. If they're in range. These are some very accomplished archers being able to lob, sh lob arrows onto hoplites from that distance. Start to push some of my cavalry up there as well. Cool, that's a good hit. This set of buildings behind it is now caught fire. So who's where? They've got Peltasts back at the main square, so we could just divert our efforts away, our cavalry away, to just go hit and hit the centre. Pathfinding is a real mess in this. Like you men should. Okay, now. Fire at will. Javelin's away. And the next rank behind. We'll hug there, Peeler. Prince pays Huck P there as well, and that's them dealt with. Uh, cavalry, 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 cavalry. Let's send these equites on towards the center. Now is the time to press on and capture this place. I'm okay with hungering down and just hitting these hoplites from here. This gatehouse ours, it is. There goes the building in the corner. Are these two are starter units. Just run them in. Oh, flaming ammo. 
Oh, so buildings you destroy in the battle, they do disappear. And you do lose them in the... On the campaign map. So it's not... You don't necessarily want to keep firing flaming ammo at everyone. I mean, I'm doing it just because I think it looks cool, but... If you were concerned about... Uh, losing certain buildings, then that's not something you would do. Move my principes up to go hit these routing hoplites before they come back. And I'm probably just going to move up my principes. And my triarii. Charge my equites on into the general's bodyguard. It's not likely to be an exchange I like between equites and general's bodyguard. Because their heavy cavalry is very good, but there goes the enemy king. So Prince pays. Get into a position where you can Whoa. nearly get hit by friendly fire with my own with my own catapults. Well that's that. <laughs> we flanked around and we've taken the uh, city square. One, you guys get into formation. Get in the formation I put you in. Like that. Because if you get into that formation, doesn't matter. They probably can't even get here in 45 seconds. We'll just speed up time. Charge those men into the hot plates to do nothing other than to just hold them up. It's not generally the direction you want to attack a hot plate phalanx from. But look, so I've set these guys to attack, and look, they're like shuffling in. So frustrating. So frustrating. The more I play this game, there are elements of it that I just. I mean, I've heard people say that there are. Uh, these are things that were in the original Rome. I'm like, I'm def I don't remember having that same sort of pathfinding in cities problem in the original Rome. I'm sure that wasn't a thing. Okay, let's exterminate the population because they definitely didn't like me when I just took the city. It's a minor city, so it's definitely not ideal. But we can build the Legion barracks pretty quickly. Let's knock down the Temple of Aphrodite. Shrine to Juno, good stuff. And let's put Tartus under siege. <laughs> I mean, they've only got two units in there. Can't demand the surrender, which is annoying, but there we are. Um, but I think that's probably quite a good time to end it. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for my Rome Remastered Let's Play as the Brutii. Cheers, everyone.